Hi students, welcome to Sunil's tutorial. I'm Sunil Mirwani and today we'll be doing the chapter called as Amalgamation. We're doing question number 18. We're doing question number 18. In the books of Galaxy and Gemini, they said that Gemini Limited agrees to agree to absorb Galaxy. Gemini <coughs> buys Galaxy. Right? Let's see this. How does it buy? Jamie Limited shall give one share of 10 rupees each at 35 per share for every three shares held in Galaxy Limited and the amount of fraction share shall be paid in cash calculated at the market price of the share of Jamie Limited. Galaxy Jamie. Now they are saying that Jamie Limited shall give one share Jamie Limited shall give one share of 10 rupees at the rate of 35 for every three shares held in Galaxy Limited. Right? Let's look at the balance sheet of Galaxy. The share capital of Galaxy is 50,000 shares of 10 rupees each. That means they have got 5,000 shares. That means how many shares shall be issued to them? I can say x is equal to 5,000 divided by 3, which is 1,666.66. Yes. You cannot sell fraction shares, so this is going to be equal to 1,666. Right? At what price are they going to give them? They are going to give them at the rate of 35. So, 1,666 equity shares of Gemini at the rate of 35. Some of these calculators... 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. 38,310. They have said that the shares of Jimmy Limited are quoted in the market at 45 rupees. Right? So, fraction shares are going to be paid in cash. Paid in cash. That's 0 0.66 into 45. Guys, while doing it on the Calci, take 0 0.6666 till the end. Take it till the end. And then multiply it by 45. That comes to 30 rupees. Right? So, this is 4, 3, 8, 5. 58,340. That's what? 200. Yeah, probably. 58,340. That is going to be my PC. Let's start in the books of Galaxy. Jamie is buying Galaxy. Jamie is buying Galaxy. So, first we will always do in the books of seller, then we do in the books of buyer. Seller, you have those same eight model entries. First, realization account debit to all the assets. That's fixed assets to loan to Germany. to debtors. to stock to cash and bank right fixed assets there's 60,000 loan is 5,000 debtors is 15,000 uh, stock is 10,000 Cash is nil, right? Ninety thousand. The assets transferred. Right. Next, once you transfer the assets, transfer liabilities, right? That is going to be creditors account debit.
creditors account debit loan from Galaxy Limited. Limited debit to realization. Creditors account. Creditors account is fifteen thousand. Loan from Galaxy is nil, so this is going to be fifteen thousand. The liabilities transferred. If you have preference shares, preference shares are the next. There's no preference shares. Transfer equity shares. Equity share capital account debit reserve fund account debit foreign project reserve account debit to equity Holders, right? Equity share capital fifty thousand. Twenty thousand general reserve. General reserve is twenty thousand. Five thousand. Seventy-five thousand. Three equity shares transferred. Right. Once you have this, next you have to record the PC. The new company is Gemini. Gemini Limited debit to realization. Right. Gemini Limited to realization fifty eight thousand three hundred and forty. Fifty eight thousand three hundred and forty. The PC recorded. Then you have to receive PC. Debit what comes in? Equity shares of Gemini Limited debit cash debit to Gemini Limited. Right? Equity share of Gemini Limited fifty eight thousand three hundred and ten. Cash is thirty fifty eight thousand three hundred and forty. The PC received. The next thing would have been to pay the preference holder, but there are no preference holders, hence you don't have to pay them. Calculate your realization. Ninety thousand on the debit side, fifteen thousand on the credit side, and fifty-eight thousand on the credit side. Sixteen six sixteen six sixty. You have a loss. Equity shareholder account debit. Now how much is the bill? Is it sixteen six sixty? It's coming at seventy. Fifty three forty. Fifty three forty. Okay. Equity shareholder account debit to realization. How much is that? Sixteen six sixty. Six sixty. Sixteen six sixty. The loss transferred. Right. Once you have transferred the loss, the next thing that you have to do is pay the equity shareholders. Let's pay the equity shareholders. Debit to receive of equity shareholders account debit to. What all are you going to pay? You are going to pay them the shares that you receive. Equity shares of Jamie to cash, right? Now, equity shares of Jamie are fifty-eight thousand three hundred and ten. Cash is thirty fifty-eight thousand three hundred and forty. We. Equity shareholders paid. Next, in the books of Gemini. Right. 
first acquire the business business purchase account debit to liquidators of galaxy right the amount is 58340 Take over all the assets and liabilities. So this is going to be fixed assets account debit, loan to Gemini account debit, debtors account debit. Creditors, two creditors, fifteen thousand, and two business purchase. Okay, have they given you new values of any of them? Uh, let's see the sixty. No, the data company accounts, sixty thousand, five thousand, fifteen thousand. Ten thousand creditors is fifteen thousand. Business purchase is fifty-eight thousand three hundred and forty. Someone give me the difference. The difference I presume is on the credit side. Someone check. Sixteen six sixty. Sixteen six sixty on the credit side. This is going to be two capital reserve. Pay the PC. Debit the receiver. Liquidators of Galaxy debit two. What all are you going to pay them? You are going to pay them equity share capital to security premium to cash. Right. Liquidators of Galaxy is fifty-eight thousand three hundred and forty. Right. Equity share capital sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty-six shares. Face value of each share is ten rupees. So sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty. These shares have been issued at thirty-five rupees. That means the premium charge on each share is twenty-five rupees. Sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty-six into twenty-five. Is forty-one thousand six hundred and fifty, and cash we already found out is thirty. Being PC paid. Now we have intercompany account entries that we have to do, right? Let's see this. They said that stock of Galaxy includes goods worth seven thousand five hundred purchased from Jimmy, which has a profit margin of twenty percent on cost. Right, I am Jamie. I have sold goods to Galaxy. Now that company I have purchased. That means the person who is going to receive the money is also me. Give the money is also me. So I cannot be the receiver and the giver. So I have to write off such accounts. Right? Now let us see how do I write off such amounts. Now they are saying that stock of Galaxy, that is the company that I have purchased, includes seven thousand five hundred. Good worth seven thousand five hundred purchased to Jamie, which has a profit margin of twenty percent on cost. Can you sell to yourself at profit? No. So first thing I need to do is I need to remove that profit margin. Working note: cost price, selling price, profit. Twenty percent profit on cost. On whatever they give you, assume that as hundred. So if I assume cost price as hundred, selling price is one twenty, profit is twenty. 
galaxy we had sold it to galaxy for 7500 so how much profit we had charged galaxy we had charged galaxy a profit of 7500 into 20 divided by 120 1250 right i will not get this right value of asset is going down value of asset is going down that means it should be on the credit side now if it is going down like how in internal Rico you have capital reduction, here you have goodwill and capital reserve. If value of asset is going down, then the entry will be goodwill account debit to stock 1250, 1250. We intercompany account carry. Right? This is your intercompany account stock which has been tallied. Fine, we get this in here. Next. Now, if you look at uh, the assets, there is loan to Jamini. Right? In your balance sheet of Galaxy on the asset side, there is loan to Jamini. That means Galaxy had given a loan to Jamini. Jamini has purchased this. So, will Jamini have to repay that loan? No. Right? Jamini does not have to repay that loan. That loan was shown as loan from Galaxy on the liability side in the balance sheet of Jamini. Right? I don't have to repay that loan. That means my liability is going down. Right? Liability going down, that means I should have that on the debit side. This is loan from Galaxy. Loan to Jamie. Since my life, uh, Jamie. Since my liabilities are going down, therefore I'm writing loan from Galaxy on the debit side, right? The loan amount was, uh, the loan amount was five thousand. This is again my intercompany account. <laughs> the Intercompany account tally. Next. Debtors of Gemini include 2500 due from Galaxy. Data. Right? That means Galaxy must have been a customer of Gemini. Right? Now, if uh, Gemini has purchased Galaxy, that money is not going to come because both the data and the creditor is going to be the same, right? So in that case, you will have, okay, in that, data of Jamini includes 2,400 amount due from Galaxy, but creditor of Galaxy includes only 2,000 uh, due from Jamini. The difference between debtors and creditors is to be treated as cash in transit. That means, as Jamini, I was supposed to receive 2,500 from Galaxy. But Galaxy says that he has to pay me only 2000 Why? Because he has already sent me a check of 500 which I haven't received. That is my cash in transit. Right? Now since I have purchased, as Jamie, since I have purchased Galaxy, I will not get that money because the data and the creditor becomes the same. I am paying, I am receiving. Doesn't make sense. That means my assets are going to go down. Right? So in that case, assets going down should be on the credit side. So this will be creditors account debit to debtors account. Right? I will not get that 2500 that I was supposed to get. And J uh, Galaxy is saying that it was supposed to pay me only 2000. The difference is to be treated as cash in transit. B Intercompany account tally. Right? Next. You are requested to pass journal entries in the books of Jamie and balance sheet after absorption, assuming that foreign project reserve is to be maintained for three years. Foreign project reserve is a statutory reserve and it has to be maintained. Statutory means required by law has to be maintained for n number of years, whatever is specified, here they have specified 3 years, right? 
it has to be maintained for three years. The entry for that will be I have to create that reserve. Amalgamation, amalgamation adjustment account debit. Two foreign project reserve. Amount is how much was the foreign project reserve? Five thousand. Mean statutory reserve created. Right. Next, let's make balance sheet, guys. the balance sheet already had an equity share of 1 lakh plus it has issued shares of 16,660 right so this is going to be 1 lakh 16,660 1 lakh 16,660 it had 1 lakh and it, it has issued another shares when you have reserves and surplus Right. Let's see this. They had a reserve fund of thirty thousand. Jenny has a reserve fund of thirty thousand. Uh, besides that, you have security premium. Security premium of forty-one thousand six hundred and fifty. Besides that, you have foreign project reserve which you have just created. Project reserve which has just been created for five thousand. Okay, so that's why reserves and surplus secured loans. There are no secured loans. Unsecured loans. There are no unsecured loans. Current liabilities. Under current liabilities, you have creditors. We forgot to write this capital reserve. Wait, I'll just make entry of creditors and then write it. Creditors. Now, creditors was 15,000 and it's on the debit side 2,000. Right, that means that leaves me with only 13,000. So this is going to be 13,000. There is a capital reserve that should go in reserves and surplus. Capital reserve is 16,660. Right? Okay. Uh, is there any other entry of creditors? No. Right? Besides that, we have loan from Galaxy. Loan from Galaxy was 5000 and I have loan from Galaxy on the debit side here. So, yeah. nil. I have credit subtract debit. Right? That's it. Those are the liabilities. Let's move on to the asset side. We will have fixed assets. Fixed assets straight away is given to you as 60000 Right? Investments. No, sixty thousand is 
what I have taken over, I must be having my own also. Jimny, I have 1,25,000 plus I have taken over 60,000. 185? 185,000. Same way for creditors also. Creditors, I have 20,000 of my own creditors plus I have taken over 13,000 of creditors. 20, 33,000 creditors. Creditors is going to be 33,000. I had 20,000 of my own creditors plus I took over 13,000 worth creditors of Galaxy. Okay. Next, investments. No investments. Collect assets. <laughs> Amongst current assets, you have loan to Gemini. Loan to Jamie was 5000 and you have an entry of loan to Jamie on the credit side 5000. So this becomes nil. Right? Then you have debtors. Debtors is 15,000. Debtors, my own debtors was 10,000. 10,000 plus 15,000, 25,000. 25,000. And I have 2,500 here, so that gives me 22,500. 25,000, it's on the credit side, 2,500, and debit subtract credit, right? Then you have stock, right? <coughs> stock was 15,000, uh, stock is 15,000 my own, I've taken over 10,000. That is 25. 25 minus 1250. That's only one entry of stock. Right? Someone please do that. 25. 20. Subtract. I'm subtracting. 25. 23. Right? And then cash and bank. Cash was 5000. Order which I paid 30 rupees here. Right? So that is 4,970. Then I have goodwill. <coughs> Capital is also is done. I have goodwill that will go in fixed assets. Goodwill which will be 1250. Besides that I have amalgamation adjustment. Amalgamation adjustment is 5000. Cash in transit. Cash in transit is 500. Right? So I think we covered all the entries. Security, mm -hmm. cash we covered. Check whether the balance sheet tallies, guys. Two, more than that. 240 to 970. Two, 42970. 42, right? That finishes that sum. We'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.